Good afternoon, welcome to today's press conference to preview our Premier League game against Watford. We're going to begin today's press conference with the usual broadcast section. If you'd like a question today, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and we'll get round to as many of you as we can. We're going to begin today's press conference with Geraint Hughes from Sky Sports News. Over to you. Thanks, Aidy. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, Thomas, can I first of all start off with, us, I suppose, an all-encompassing question sort of about injury news and also uh, a, an update on, on Romelu Lukaku. It, it was very good for many people to see him coming on the other day. Just an update on where he is and how you can possibly use him, uh, you use him going forward, uh, also with team news ahead of the, of the game. Well, with Romelu, it's pretty easy. He came on and um, he continued to train. There's no reaction uh, from his, from his um, injured ankle. So he stayed in training and he's uh, ready to progress, progress in minutes, and uh, this is where he is. Um, for the game, so for sure out is uh, Chile, still Kova and Ingolo. For tomorrow, and we have some players in doubt, we have some, maybe we need some more, a bit more time, a bit more examinations, a bit more time to re-evaluate uh, the status. It's uh, Reese James, Shorshi and uh, Timo Werner. They all have, they all finished training or they all trained today with us. And uh, yeah, there will be some last minute decisions about the three. Thomas, can I take you back to, to, to last night? Obviously, um, you, you had a, a, a hopefully a very nice evening at Stamford Bridge looking at the Ballon d'Or. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just your reflections on on everything that the club just a achieved last night. Club of the year, the men's and the women's side, but also as well individual honours there for Jorginho, where you've had a number of players in the top thirty. I I, I could go on and on and on, but just uh, your reflections on on Chelsea's contribution to what uh, what to you achieved last night. Yeah, of course, it's a nice award because uh, it, it's a team effort. If you're successful and um, if if individual players shine, and uh, all our players and all the women's players deserve to be on that list for for their contribution uh, to the success. But if individual players shine, this is uh, always due to a, a team effort, and that's why it's a nice uh, it's a nice award. Um, we have a strong academy, we have a strong women's team and, and uh, we want to be a, a, a strong part of this club. So full credit to the owner and um, everybody in charge and uh, we are trying, trying our best to, be, uh, to continue and, and, uh, and maybe win this award again. Um, Thomas, just looking forward to, to tomorrow night. For, for many clubs now, it, it almost these midweek games mark the start of a, a very, very hectic schedule. For some, it's, you know, it, it's, it's seven games, 28 days. You know, don't need to be a genius. It's, it's one game every four days. Yeah. Um, how do you manage such a, a period like this? And, and how does rotation work now? How do you work looking at the next month or so? <clears throat> Yeah, it is. It is. It will be um, um, challenging, but uh, the good thing is, it was challenging before. So uh, we don't change our routine. We we uh, have a very close and tight communication with the medical department and our fitness department, and we try to predict the load. We we look into the data where the players are, who is overloaded, who is underloaded, who is chronically overloaded, who is acutely overloaded, underloaded, and from there we see what we need in the next games and. Um, and still we do it step by step. I mean, if you, if you look at the schedule too far ahead, you, <laughs> you, can, you, can, uh, yeah, you, you can see that this will be a, it will be a tough, a t some tough weeks uh, coming. And that's why we focus on, 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 on the details and we focus on, on, the, on the next game and maybe on the next two games where, where we can uh, um, rely on our predictions because we have fantastic support from everybody. It's on the players now to not only be strong in the games and, 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 and give everything in the games, but to take um, recovery very seriously. We have to be in the next weeks very, very good in, in recovering, very good in, in, in sleeping and, uh, and, and um, 
and uh, taking the right food and taking the right supplements that we can recover well from 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 the games because the games are intense our style of play is hopefully intense and and needs to be intense to to have a certain um, yeah to have a certain mentality and identity on the on the pitch this is what we want and we are not scared to rotate as i said we have some doubts with uh, Reese Shoshinho and and Timo Werner tomorrow we have late decisions but we trust the full squad and there's no secret that you need a full squad to overcome weeks like this last one Dwayne. Yeah, last question for me, uh, 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 Thomas. Just looking at, um, you know, you look at the, the Ballon d'Or, 14 of the top 30 players nominated were from the Premier League. But manager-wise, you know, you, you're one of the best uh, now in the Premier League. The number of top-class managers in the Premier League uh, are, is, I don't think it's ever been so good. You're coming up against uh, another legendary figure tomorrow night, Claudio Ranieri. Um, just wondering what you, what you know of Ranieri and and kind of what you expect of how he'll set up the side. I know he's only had a short time at, at Watford, but maybe what you're expecting from uh, from Ranieri. We see, we see, but we see a difference. We see a difference in data, in the style of, of of the game since he joined the club. They play with more confidence. They they especially at home they try to implement uh, uh, also high pressing. Um, to, uh, they are very active. They they, they they try to be brave and, and courageous. Had a had a great result against Man United. Um, they try to 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 play emotional, more emotional, with more effort to have the crowd uh, behind them. They can create an atmosphere that that helps them. And uh, we see this. Um, I mean, uh, Claudio Ranieri uh, speaks for himself. What he did in Premier League, and he had so many clubs. So such with a. Such an experienced coach. It's a, a pleasure to meet him. I, I did not. It's my it's my first time I meet him in person and and of course play against him. And uh, we will do our best to be uh, to be able to to get the three points tomorrow. This is uh, the aim. Declan McCarthy, Talk Sport. Good afternoon, Thomas. I suppose I can say congratulations with all the names you had on the list last night from the Ballon d'Or. Um, I just wanted to ask, uh, there are various ages, various standards in the squad, whether they're young players, old players. How much of a motivation is it for you and the squad, the Ballon d'Or as a whole? For me personally, not so much, because I have a huge doubts about individual awards um, in, 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 in this game, because the game is very complex. It's uh, related to, uh, to a lot of luck. And it's a, it's a team effort. You can uh, n n not one single player can 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 win a, a match of football. It's simply not possible. And that's why I'm happy when uh, when I have the chance uh, to to work in a club where we have such uh, so many nominees, where we have such a strong academy, a strong women's team. It shows the ambition of the club. It shows the target, and um, this is what drives us. It's what makes us happy and what motivates us. Um, we don't, we don't, we don't do what we do to uh, have in the end an individual award. But uh, when you have a lot of nominees and when you get a prize like this yesterday, it is, uh, yeah, it is the, the 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 proof that that we we showed that the club is uh, what the club is all about and how the club is built, and um, it's it's on us, on me, and and everybody who works in this club to 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 drive things forward. Point. And um, of course, football's all about opinions, Thomas. Were you expecting Robert Lewandowski to come out as a number one last night? Oh, I take my right to not have an opinion on, on this one. Uh, we had ourselves a player who won all major trophies and was hugely involved, so it would have not been a surprise if he lifted the trophy. But uh, listen, it was uh, a choice, and I think it's election, and when it's elected, you have to take it, and if you like it or not, you, you accept it and uh, life goes on uh, pretty easy after yesterday evening. George Cummins, five bucks. Thanks, Adrian. Thomas, hello. I mean, I know you might not comment on Jorginho not winning it, but surely his Chelsea teammates are surprised. I mean, what more did he have to do? He won the Euros, the Champions League. Were the Chelsea players surprised he didn't have that trophy in his hands this morning? My players were surprised that Lewandowski didn't win last year, so there there are some surprises in it. But like I said, it's a it's a it's a selection and uh, it's an election, and 
in the end it's it's we are we are, we we come from sports we we accept we accept and uh, and and go on um just, can i just ask you about the club world cup in february i mean how much is that going to impact your season where it is what do you make of it how strong are you going to go because i also know you've got possibly ZH and Mendy out too i just wondered if You've got any thoughts on that being played in February and the impact that can have in your title challenge? Yeah, but yeah, as I, under, as I understand it, they, they will both be back. Even if they play the final, they will both uh, be in Abu Dhabi, I guess, or uh, wherever it's going to be played. But listen, this is in, in, in February. We are now like close to being December. There's still uh, December and January to play. So we, I, I can tell you I don't break my head at all about, about World Cup. This is uh, zero percent in my head. My focus is on Watford, in the selection, in the rotation. My head is also like what we did against Man United in the preparation for this game. And of course, we, we look a bit up, up uh, front because now we have an evening game. And on Saturday, again, we have away game, but 12.30. So we need to be aware of the, of the time, of the lack of time of, of recovery that we have in between. And this is what we do, but uh, there are zero Zero, zero focus on World Cup right now. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, I just want to ask a quick question on your left wing back options with Ben Chilwell out until the new year, as far as we know. Yeah. Um, Marcus Alonso hasn't played very much, as you said, after the game against Man United. Do you think you have enough cover in your squad currently to, to sort of fill that Ben Chilwell gap? Yeah. Yes, we have. First of all, we have Marcus. Who, who started the season for us when, when, when Chile was in a bit of trouble and then a, in a bit of a uh, more difficult moment for him. So uh, we trust him. We won Premier League games. Max is very experienced and, and I think it's, it's even a, a situation when nobody is injured where you have like two specialists for one, for one position. Both of them play for the international teams where you can end up um, sometimes in, a, in very difficult uh, uh, decisions and it can be very, very hard for one of them because they are, in my, in my opinion, they, are, they compete for one single position, it's the left wing back position. And suddenly if one has a, a longer injury like, like, like Ben now, it can suddenly seem that we don't have enough. If you look at the schedule and think like, oh, does Marcos have now to play, I don't know, eight, eight matches uh, every three days? Is that possible? Maybe not. So I think we still have um, Callum who can play on the left side as a wing back, um, and uh, we have some other ideas where we can maybe uh, that we can maybe try, maybe have to try. Let's see. But uh, first of all, Marcos is the one in charge. He's the specialist, and um, he will prove how how uh, how much he can bring to the team and what impact he he can have for us. And um, the one criticism, I think, of the game on Sunday against Man United, and I think the only real criticism this season has been the, you know, your attacking players being more clinical in front of goal. Yeah. Um, do you think, I'm sure you won't care who puts the ball in the back of the net, whether that's your wing-backs, whether that's your defenders, but do you think your attacking players need to contribute a little bit more or need to be more clinical in front of goal? I think they try, they try hard. And their contribution to our to our style of game, the contribution to the high pressing is immense. Can see this in in every game live, but we can see it also in the data after the matches. So we should maybe take in account that they, when they arrive with the chances, maybe they don't arrive like uh, fully relaxed. Sometimes they they breathe hard when they arrive, and and maybe that costs us a bit of uh, pre precision sometimes. But uh, we scored many goals uh, uh, before. In this game, I agree. We had a bit of similar game in in terms of chances and and of course result against Burnley at home. So yeah, it's a, it's a, but uh, it's also it's also a good sign when we are not happy when we when we draw against Man United when we have the feeling and the deserved feeling that we should deserve more, and and we trust them. They they have the quality to score for us. It's on us uh, to to bring them in. Uh, in, in, in positions from where uh, it, it's, it's possible for them to, to score and to, to, to do this as often as possible and maybe more often if, if, it's, if it's a moment where they find it a bit harder but we need to create uh, chances because 
they have the quality and I know that they absolutely want and, and still like I said they have a huge impact into our defensive game and the high pressing and that's why in general we are absolutely happy and, and calm. Okay, at the end of the broadcast section, if you would like